What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute upper body push workout. We're gonna be targeting your chest, your triceps, and your shoulders today. So be ready for a good push, quite literally. We're focusing on power. So executing every rep with a slow eccentric or lengthening phase, and then a powerful concentric or pushing phase. Everything's gonna go from bent to extension, and that's our mission today, powerful extension. So make sure you combine strength with speed, but first focus on the right form so you can do everything well. Make it to the end of this workout where we finish with one final push, a push press. All right, so grab your water, grab your sweat towel and your dumbbells, and let's get started. All right, let's open it up. Big open body stretch. Fingertips reach back. We're gonna push with power today. So let's get nice and warm. Good job, turn it over to the side. Front arm goes back. Great job, and switch directions. Good, keep your chest up. Three, two, same thing with the other arm. Big backward circle. Keep your chest up so it replicates how we're going to be pushing. There you go. Switch direction. Same arm. Two, one, and arms go up. Reach your thumbs up and back. Good. Hinge just a bit. Let's let them pass your body. Keep your head neutral. We can make sure that you're stretching your lats and your triceps here. Three, two, one. Good, hands together. Let's bend the elbows. Reach your thumbs back towards your upper back. Good, bend and push. Four, three, two, one. Arm across your body. Let's dip it down and up. Just a little bit more of a lat stretch while you're stretching your shoulder. Two more. Last one. Good, all right, switch arms. Big pull. And just to make this a little bit deeper of a stretch, you can kind of think about reaching over that arm with your chin. There you go, open up the side, down. Good, with this being such a power focused workout, we've got a three minute warm up. We'll get started in just about 40 seconds. Two, one, good job. Fingertips pull back. So we've got 45 second work periods because I want you to push with max explosion and then slowly lower, reset, breathe, and then push again. Okay, we need that kind of power today. Switch arms. We're gonna start off with shoulder press. Three rounds, then we'll take a break. 45 seconds. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, all right? I'm gonna start with my 20s. And we've got 45. Dumbbells up, ready? Three, two, and punch. Slowly lower. Job. And if your weights are just a bit lighter, if you don't have super heavy weights, I want you to go with power and with a little bit of speed. So you get down, punch quick. Good. Focusing on a powerful, concentric action. So slow, 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 fast, okay? More important than fast is with all your effort. Okay, speed comes second. Three, two, rest. Good job. I want you to leave your legs out of this one. So it's not a push press, just a strict shoulder press. We'll get to a little bit of push press action a little bit later. For right now, it's all strict. Let's go. Great work. Go 
Good work. 15. Ten. One more. Good, rest. All right, last round. Feel like you got anything left in the tank, go heavier. If you need to go down to still generate power, do that. I'm gonna stay right here, I'm somewhere in between. All right, last round. Two, and punch. Good job, I'm trying to rest less at the bottom. So go slow, 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 fast. Good job. Here we go, 15. That's it. Let's go one more, five. And 30 seconds to rest. Great work. I'm gonna pull out the bench, we're gonna go chest press. I wanna get your heavy moves here in the beginning. Okay, same thing here, slow on the way down, punch it up. If you're on the floor, same thing. All right, I'm gonna start with my, let's go 20s again and work our way up. Three, two, let's go. Great job, breathe, keep your breath going. Good, you got 10. Two, good, all right. Heavier if you are able. I'm demanding a lot out of you per rep. Okay, so it makes sense. You're a little bit lighter than just your normal tempo. Let's go. <laughs> Great work. 15. <sighs> Two, one, good. All right, one more round. Same thing, slow, slow, slow when you get here. Think about someone snapping and you switch directions from lowering to punching. Ready? Two. Let's go. Nice job, come on. You got 15 seconds left for chest press. Last one, four. And rest for 30. Good work. All right, stay with me here. 30 seconds, grab water. We're gonna go tricep overhead extensions. Right, so don't need the bench unless you wanna do them seated, which is totally fine. But you're gonna go bent, punch. Okay, this one you'll feel the power a little bit less because there's only so much for your range of motion. But I want you thinking that way. 
okay? Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, lock it out. Let's go. And I don't mean that you have to lock your elbow, I just mean full extension. Don't lose control at the bottom either. So when you get down here, don't let your elbows go to the side. Don't try to manipulate your body into kind of lean pushing. There we go, you got 10. Two, good. 15 seconds, nice work. Same thing, two more rounds. I know if you're like me, this is just warm back here. You're feeling it work. Round two, ready? Let's go. Embrace that burn, <laughs> it's happening. I'm talking to you and I'm talking to myself. I feel it too. <sighs> Come on, 15. <sighs> Seven. <sighs> Two. Ah, oh, good. Okay, one more round and then we'll lighten it up a little bit after your 30 second work or 30 second rest period. Whew. Last one, come on, push hard. Three, two, let's go. There you go. Feels like such a small movement. Just stay focused. Fifteen. One more. Three. Rest. Oh. Okay. 30 seconds. We're going lateral raises. Lightening it up a little bit. One arm at a time. So you're gonna go slow, slow, slow. As soon as this one gets almost to the bottom, lift with power out to the side. I'm gonna use my tens and we'll start in seven. Ready? A little bend in your elbow. Let's go. You don't need them to be high. You just need to lift with power. Just parallel with the floor. If you think about your elbow being the thing that you're lifting, it's a lot less likely that you'll be pushing your wrist up like this. Okay, think here. Five. Rest, good. All right, same thing. If you felt like you can go a little heavier, let's do it. Whew. You're doing great. Four, lift the elbow and the rounded wrist. Let's go. Same thing on the way down. Fifteen, good. Three. 
Rest. All right, last round. If you wanna try and go heavier, let's try it. Just do not compromise the form and the intention. Okay, here we go, big deep breath. Two, let's go. Let's go shoulders, come on. You got it, you got it. Seconds. Good job. We're going still lighter in terms of weights that you're selecting, but we're going to go chest fly on the bench or on the ground. Totally up to you. Either way, opening the eccentric slow and then thinking elbow creases, push back together. Okay? Not necessarily your hands. Think about closing this gap right here. Four. Dumbbells up. Let's get it. Good job, keep breathing. Be present, stay right here in this workout. You got seven, come on. Can you give me one more? Yeah, let's go, two, one, good, rest. Same thing, two more rounds. You're doing great. Stay focused on every rep, one rep at a time. Dumbbells up, two, one, open. Good work, come on. You got 12. <laughs> Last one, three. <sighs> Good. All right, one more round. If you think you can go heavier, let's do it. Also keep the options beside you if you think you're on the border and maybe halfway through you wanna drop down. But let's go, three, two, come on. Keep in mind, with going heavier, you don't have to match the same pace or number of reps in the work period. When you go heavier, the only thing you have to think about is doing it with the right form and then execute those variables, like power. Do it well, and then intensify. Come on. Good job. 12. Three. Last one. Good job. You got 30 seconds rest. Grab water if you need it. All right, tricep kickbacks. I wanna give you an option, just kind of something to play with if you wanna try on your bench to do these kickbacks. Laying down on your stomach, not an option for everyone, but feel free to try right here, okay? If not, you can hinge, same thing. Let's go. And what this does is keeps your upper arm parallel with the floor. 
So you notice it a lot more if you try to drop and then do this. Okay, keep your elbow pinned by your side, then fully extend. And it's okay if your chest is up just a bit. And then you're gonna lower slowly. Good job, you got five. And rest, good job. It's just an option. If you wanna come up and do our regular hinged extensions, that's fine. But what I'm trying to get is a locked out upper arm so that you get the full range of motion, okay? Round two, let's go. Good, keep the elbow right by your ribs. Ten. Three. Rest. Good job, you got one more round. Remember, elbow stays up. Full range of motion, full extension, slow on the way down. Let's go, last round. Two, one, go. Good job. Fifteen. Five, come on, come on, you got this. Three. Rest. Good, a new variable introduced there, but most importantly, a good technique. Full extension, tricep kickbacks. Some people connect with them, some people have trouble, so I feel like that's a good way to really isolate what the intention is. Skull crushers are next. I want you to do this with two arms, two dumbbells. Okay, we're gonna alternate here. So you're gonna take one, slowly lower. Okay, I would like for you to keep the other one straight while you move. Let's go. Good job. 15. Three. Rest. Good work. Why I'm asking you to keep the other one straight is not to rest it over your chest, but to keep it slanted so your tricep is working here as well. Dumbbells up. Two, let's go. Second half, come on. Ten, nine, eight. Rest. Now you can go heavier if you're ready for that. You know if you're ready for it or not. I know personally for my technique, I'm gonna stay right here. I wanna keep this active arm working hard. 
Round three, come on. Good job. Seven. Two. And 30 seconds rest. Woo. We've got one more. Good job, you're doing great. I want this one to be seat, or sorry, standing, push, press. All right, we're gonna do left arm first, then right arm, then both arms to finish. All right. So dumbbell is here, we go in eight. Bend, punch, bring it back down. If you need the rest, stop here. If you can go from down right back into it, let's go there. Come on. Good, shoulders stay level. Fifteen. You got seven. Two more, one, and rest. I meant two more seconds, not two more reps. Other arm. You know how that one felt? Shoulders stay level, so don't sink down here. Ready, two, one. Good job, second half right here, let's go. Let's go, five, two, one, good. If you can keep that same weight and grab the other one, let's do it. Last 45, right here, come on. Both arms, dip and punch and drop under it. Let's go. Come on, give me everything. Second half, you got 19, 18. Ten. Three. One more. And rest. Great job. Let your arms hang for a second. Cross them over gently. <sighs> Great strength session today. Always know there are ways to challenge yourself, just like we did today in power work. Slowly lengthening the muscle and then powerfully executing the rep. Power is strength plus speed. Both of those combined means you need a little bit more rest in between each rep, so be okay with power having rep, three second rest in between, okay? Be okay with going a little bit lighter when you do powerful work like that. Okay, switch hands. The variables, the resistance, there's so many ways to challenge yourself and so many combinations of that too. 
If I made you hold something like a lateral raise for 10 seconds, the weight that you would be able to use would be significantly lighter than if I was just challenging you to do one rep up and down one second each, right? It's still training hard both ways. And with extended protocol of certain training variables, you'll see how everything kind of compounds on itself. And the more you do with different challenges, the more success you're gonna see with changing your body composition, especially in a progressive nature like we're doing this month and like we will do in Summertime Fine. Okay, you build on the foundations. That's the only way to get to the end result in a way that is safe and is sustainable. Okay, if I can keep you happy, healthy, and strong for 12 weeks in a program, that's a lot of ways that we are successful together. Okay, so as you head out today, always remember, foundation is good form. You build on that, executing well with strength. You build on that, adding in a little bit of speed, a little less rest, which is power. And then you build on that with the ability to increase weight in each of those variables as you get better of each one of them, okay? So great job today. Keep pushing yourself. This is strength week in our program. So push your strong, push your power, and I'll see you back here for our next workout. Great job today. Before you head out, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share it with your friends. I'll see you for our next training session.